Hello everyone and welcome back to SRB Gaming, more Kerbal Space Program, Real Solar System, Episode 2 today, and we are landing on the planet Mars. And, uh, as usual, I underestimated the amount of Delta V, so I had to try a lot to get this right, and it turns out that there aren't actually really any places on the surface where your parachutes will deploy, because the sea level altitude apparently doesn't exist of all the places I've looked at. So, uh, yeah, I have to do this completely with my engines, and the parachute is just a dead weight that I can't remove. Anyway, we have a big uh, near-future propulsion transfer stage here with a Vasimir engine, which is basically an electric plasma engine that allows you to change the ISP at the cost of thrust, or vice versa. And uh, at the end, we have a tiny lander with just a little Rockamax engine and a half-size fuel tank and a couple circular solar panels from near-future solar. Now, the Kraken ate my lander legs. I know that sounds strange, but it's true. I mean, this literally happened twice. It happened again when I was going on a Jupiter mission. Anyway, the reason this video took a while is because, uh, well, frankly, a real solar system is hard. Basically, uh, I've sent out lots of missions, and I've had a lot of failures. Um, we've got Pluto missions that were 50 meters per second from orbit and missed... Uh, Mercury missions that were 500 meters per second from landing and missed. I had the Kraken devour Bill Kerman's ship. He and Bob is now the only one left, as you can see in this video. Jeb and Bill have both been killed in action, sadly. We've had many sad stories. There was a Moon Hat, the Kerbal who waited 210 years to get to Pluto, only to find out he didn't have enough fuel to get into orbit. Yeah. Lots of sad stories. Anyway... We are going to land today, and uh, if you notice, I actually have started going in full screen, greater screen resolution, and better graphics thanks to actor, Active Texture Management mod, so you should be able to watch this in full screen, and it'll be much better quality than my earlier videos. Anyway, so uh, I aerobraked in Mars atmosphere to um, get into position, and it turns out I didn't have as much fuel as I originally thought. Like I said before, it was quite difficult to get this thing to land. Anyway, uh, thanks to the wonders of limited size hard drives, I ran out of space halfway through the recording, and so you'll see it kind of pop up in the middle of the landing. Anyway, I used the transfer stage to cut off a ton of my velocity and then just jettisoned it. I guess I'm shooting a nuclear reactor into the Mars, but oh well. Then I got this little lander without legs. Two solar panels, and I was being very careful not to destroy the solar panels and not to run out of power because I had another landing that failed because I ran out of power at the last minute. Um, Mars's gravity seemed more than I expected, but anyway, I I barely made the landing burn, and uh, we came down, and thankfully it was successful. And I did lose one of my solar panels on impact, but the other one was still good, and uh, Bob as the last of his trio of orange suits, was able to plant the flag on the red planet. Now, I gotta tell you the story of uh, Sean Bin now, and that is who this mission is in honor of, and we plant the flag. Not memory, but honor. Because, basically, you've probably seen the last video, um, by the way, thank you for the support for that, it was very good. Um, very helpful. I sent a mission to Phobos, and as you know, there's another moon, it's actually quite, quite a bit smaller, Deimos, it's farther out around Mars, it's also lopsided, and I sent a mission there, it was piloted by the courageous Sean Bin Kerman. Anyway, Sean Bin's ship was a modified version of the Phobos lander with a grappling hook, lots of cast parts to pull himself down, he was ready to go, everything was perfect, the encounter went far better than the Phobos mission, and he came within, the, he came within 50 meters of the surface, fired the grappling hook, went into the ground, reeled it in, the grappling hook just came back, and it was it was strange, and I thought, well, maybe I just missed. So I fired again. Nope, it just comes back every time. I tried to land. Sean Bin's ship sunk through the surface and then exploded. So I tried again and again with quick save simulations. Again and again. I literally landed 15 times all around the moon, and every single time I was destroyed. So the only conclusion is that Deimos is a Kraken. And if you have real solar system mod, don't land there. That's all I'm going to say. Just don't land there. It is completely messed up. So, uh, yeah, if I were to come back to Mars, I would, first of all, I'd put an RTG on the lander so I don't have to worry about these solar panels getting ripped off in the atmosphere. Second of all, I would ditch that parachute and just bring more fuel, because it's not working. I mean, I've flown all around this thing with the true altitude, and I could not find any places that were actually at sea level. Oh, I also was able to see, um, Olympus Mons 
in orbit and uh, the largest mountain on a planet in the solar system. And I believe there's a slightly larger one on Vesta. Anyway, Olympus Mons, you won't see it in this video because it was dark, but on one of the earlier orbits, yeah, you could see it. It looked pretty cool. Very noticeable shape. Anyway, uh, I thought those darker areas on the map might actually mean that it was lower altitude, but it was not. It was still like 10,000 meter altitude true, which is really annoying. Anyway, this landing was very difficult. I have... <laughs> I've been sending stuff everywhere. I've had like, what? I've had Krakens destroy the landing legs twice. I've had two ships completely annihilated by Kraken. Uh, Kraken glitch. It's, yeah, it's... Real solar system is just hard. And, uh, yeah, the rockets are a bit underpowered. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. This was a lot of effort, so I, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to be working on more soon. Uh, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you to those who already subscribed. That was very helpful. And uh, please like, if, if you liked it, of course, and uh, comment if you have any questions or concerns. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.